Hi there, folks. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Bach, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Canadian Center for Diversity and Inclusion. And I'm so thrilled that you're considering becoming a part of Team Gender Fabulous, CCDI's entry into the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon. Uh, this video is, uh, was created to help you uh, walk through the process of registering for the team. I'm going to tell you now that it's a little more complicated than we would like, um, but hopefully this video will uh, take you through the steps. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so I'm now going to walk you through the process of registering. So first things first, open up any web browser and you're going to go to the website genderfabulous.ca. And this just takes you to a page on CCDI's website with some information about the walk. Um, a couple things I want to point out. First off, the walk is on the, the 21st of October. And uh, even though it's called the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon, you don't actually have to do a marathon. I couldn't do one if my life depended on it. You can do a half marathon. You can also do a 5K run slash walk. For me, it'll be swift walk if we can possibly pull it off. The other thing I want to point out uh, as part of this process is that we have been generously donated a prize package by Tourism Vienna for a trip for two, including airfare and hotel for a week to attend Euro Pride in Vienna 2019. So for every $100 you raise that goes to CCDI, we will give you a ballot to enter to win this amazing prize package. So fantastic stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is go down here to this form and just enter your information, first name, last name, email address, and telephone number, and then click submit. Okay. So um, what's going to happen then is a couple of seconds later, you will receive an email that looks just like this. And what it is, is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to register. The process is not exactly crystal simple. So crystal simple, whatever that is. Um, but uh, we've outlined it for you in detail. And the first thing you're going to do is click on this link in the middle of the email. And that's going to take you to this page and you click on Canadian runner. Okay. If you're an international runner, you happen to be coming into Toronto for uh, the run, you would click here, but most people of course will be clicking on Canadian runner. That's going to open up a new tab. And um, what we're going to do is click on register on the left hand side here. When I click on register, um, it is going to uh, pop up this box and I'm going to type in my email address. And I'm going to say no, I do not have a password. Um, and I want to create one and then I just have to agree to the terms and conditions and click sign up. All right, so uh, now we're going to um, uh, get a whole bunch of detail here and for the registration. So uh, the first thing you're going to select is uh, whether you're doing the uh, marathon, the half marathon, the 5K, or, and to point out, you can do the marathon as a run, you can do the marathon as a walk, same for the half marathon, and the um, 5K you can do with a baby stroller. Um, and the only difference is when they actually launch you into the race, so not to worry. So I'm going to click 5K uh, run walk, emphasis on the walk, and I'm going to register myself. So we will put uh, my information in here and my birthday, which everyone's about to see. Um, yeah, I'm that old. I identify as a male, cis, including cis and trans, which I'm really thrilled to see they have uh, inclusion of non-binary genders. Uh, my email address, my phone number, my um, address, which I'll put in here. Um, and uh, I just clicked on it because my system is set up to actually autofill these, but you'd have to type in your city, your postal code. You can select your country and province or territory from the drop down list. Emergency contact information we will include my loving husband. Um, um, 
it's not his number. <laughs> and uh, there's a few other questions you'll have to answer. So do you have a medical condition that you'd like to disclose? So in my case, it's no. If you select yes, it's just gonna ask you for the specifics, but I'm gonna select no. Um, registration policy, you just have to agree that there are no refunds, okay? Few other questions here. Will you be participating in a wheelchair? I'm gonna answer no. If you answer yes, it just asks you to confirm that you're participating in a wheelchair. So I'm gonna say no to that. Um, do you wanna receive the newsletter from Canada Running Series? I'm gonna say no to that because I don't. Promotional uh, stuff from partners, I'm gonna say no to that. Um, how did you learn about this event? Uh, assuming you learned from an affiliated charity, meaning us, you can just say affiliated charity, and then you'll be asked to enter Canadian Center for Diversity and Inclusion. What inspires you to run WALK? This isn't a mandatory question. Um, you'll see the asterisk beside a question when it's mandatory, and uh, you can put whatever you'd like here. I'm just gonna leave it blank. Um, now they want you to select what um, your corral time, and, and this is essentially how long it's gonna take, you think it's gonna take you to finish the 5K. So I'm, I've said 45 minutes, which is the blue group. What is my best personal time for this difference? It's not a mandatory question, but you can put it in if you'd like. You can also uh, enter your place of employment and your job title. Again, these are optional. If you are a scene member, uh, then you can enter your scene uh, points number here. If you're not a scene member, you won't know what that is and it doesn't matter. Um, 5K souvenir shirt, uh, you, all you have to do here is select your size. So I'm gonna go men's large and it's included as part of your package. If you would like to get a uh, personalized medal, which you can see over here on the right hand side, um, you can select that as $12. Um, and uh, uh, then if you have a promo code, which is not the charity challenge pin code, uh, you would enter it here. So now you have two options. One is to add another registrant or to continue. If you are registering more than one person, I'm going to suggest to you that you don't click add another registrant. And that's because the promo code that I'm gonna use uh, or you'll get as part of your registration is um, uh, it only gives a discount for one runner. So you have to actually go through this process for each person. So I'm gonna click continue here and uh, it's gonna ask me a bunch of questions. So first is uh, a waiver, um, it's uh, um, indemnity. I haven't, I've read it, so I'm just gonna click okay. If you wanna read it, you just click on the link and it will pop up and then you click continue. Um, the next is going to ask me if I'm a Scotiabank employee. In my case, I'm going to say no. I don't actually know what happens when you say yes. Um, the next one is, do you want to participate in the Scotiabank Charity Challenge as a fundraiser or make a donation? So I'm hoping you're going to say yes to this. So uh, I'm going to say yes, and this is where you choose a charity, okay? So from the drop down, you're just going to scroll gently down to Canadian, uh, which was in here uh, somewhere. And I'm sorry, I skipped past it. Canadian Center for Diversity and Inclusion. There we are. Now is the p charity pin code. And there's a different pin code for each of the three different categories, the marathon, the half marathon, and the 5K. So you should have been given uh, a pin code, which will apply a discount. And the pin code I is um, 18 CCDI, oops, 5K, I believe. Um, the next question is, do you want to create a fundraising account or make a donation? Now you can make a donation and it will ask you how much you want to make, whether it's $5, $10, $100, $1 million dollars. Every penny is appreciated and goes to help CCDI do some great work. Alternatively, you can create a Scotiabank Charity Challenge page. And I'm gonna show you that process because it, um, it connects to joining to the team. So my preferred username, let's just go Michael 
app.ccdi. I'm going to check the availability. Now you'll notice that um, because I put the period in, it has said I can't do that. So you can't use any special characters. So Michael CCDI, it's successful. I'm going to enter a password here. There we go. My fundraising goal, I'm going to say, is $100. Um, I can also make a donation here as well. And um, then I go continue to payment. OK. So um, uh, the billing information, I am going to click the drop down and say select from participant one because it's this is my home address. And you all know, know where I live. Congratulations. Um, and then you go down here to the credit card information. And again, mine is pre-populated, so that's why it's coming up. And, um, and you now know my credit card number. Maybe I'll blur this out in the video. So you'll also notice on the right-hand side here that the registration is here, but then the promo code has been applied. So it takes the fee down from $52.50 to $40, and then add HST and a processing fee, and it's $49.93. So I complete, click Submit Order, and there we go. So now what's going to happen is you're going to get um, a couple emails. One is from Race Roster, and I'll just show it to you here. And it just says, um, congratulations, you have uh, your account has been set up. Okay, that's you don't need to do anything with that. It's just your account information. Uh, the next is from the run, and it says, thank you for registering. So it shows you that you've registered. And we'll close that. And the next is the important one. So this is your confirmation uh, email, and it includes your, uh, your receipt for doing that. It also includes a link to your dashboard. So if I click on that, it is going to take me over to my race roster dashboard. And it just gives you the information about the event. There's a map, um, et cetera, et cetera. This is not really the important stuff. The next thing that's come in, it follows a couple of minutes later, is this email. And this one includes two things. It includes the link to your personal fundraising page and then the uh, for you to log in, and then the link that you can give people in order to raise money. So I'm going to click on this page, this link here, which is to log into my account. <clears throat> and so right now I'm going to uh, click sign in. And I'm going to type Michael CCDI and my password. Oops, wrong password, excuse me. It's going really well. And I'll go, hopefully that's it. OK. So now this creates a, this has taken me into my fundraising page. And you'll see there's a photo of this little girl here, and her, I'm not sure, a little person. Um, and you can actually edit the message. And this is the, the page that you're going to use as part of the run and for your fundraising. Everything else is irrelevant. There's only one more thing you need to do in order to join Team Gender Fabulous. And that is to click on My Team and find Team Gender Fabulous. So if you start typing, click on Team Name and start typing Gender Fabulous, you'll see you, you when you get through it, um, you click Search. And now you'll see Gender Fabulous and that the, it goes to the Canadian Center for Diversity and Inclusion. You click on the link for Gender Fabulous, and then click Join Team. And that's it. Now you're part of Team Gender Fabulous. And you'll see that on the left-hand side, under My Team, you've got team results. You've got recruiting team members and, and getting team sponsors. You can view and, and thank your team and sponsors and view the recruiting list. And you'll see that there's a bunch of us that are already on the team. 
and um, we've all got our fundraising goals and some of us have already started bringing in money. Um, this is the, the most important email that you'll get. You want to keep it handy because it's the link um, that you will uh, use on an ongoing basis to raise money. Um, and that's it. It's that simple and not really simple, but that's the process. Um, I'm so excited that you're going to be joining us and participating with uh, Team Gender Fabulous at the Scotiabank Toronto Mar Waterfront Marathon. Um, uh, there's also going to be, we're going to get together as a team um, after the 5K uh, for breakfast, uh, which we would love for you to join. Um, and, you know, the one thing I would say is set your fundraising goal low and don't, don't uh, feel like you need to raise thousands of dollars. Uh, I myself have set a pretty significant goal, but um, every dollar that you raise for CCDI goes a long way to helping make Canada more inclusive. So that's it. I can't wait to see you all on October 21st at The Run. Take care.